This is News West 9 at 6. Thanks for joining us tonight. Oil and gas leaders met with local lawmakers today, all to discuss the impact the legislative session had on the oil industry. There were many victories. Among them was renewing the Railroad Commission for another 12 years. News West 9's Roxana Rubio has the story. Local lawmakers are celebrating their victories with oil and gas leaders in the Permian Basin. The 85th legislative session is all wrapped up, and the big win for many was the Texas Railroad Commission getting additional funds and being renewed for another 12 years. You know, having an uh, underfunded railroad commission uh, makes it more difficult for all, all people in the, in the industry to operate. Permits are delayed, inspections are delayed, so it's important that we have a fully funded commission so that the, the public public has confidence as well that the industry is being regulated appropriately. Representative Brooks Landgraf is celebrating a different victory, the passing of his Texas fuels bill. We'll um, develop new natural gas markets right here in the state for government fleet vehicles. So I think that's going to be a win for the Texas environment, but also for jobs here in the Permian Basin. Landgraf says we could see the positive impact from the bill by 2018. Senator Kel Seliger says he proposed a resolution that did not pass, but he plans to reintroduce it in 2019. It addresses severance taxes to the industry when they're levied and when they're not. But um, the oil and gas industry is, is very much entwined with the economy and, and the legislative process in Texas. The good thing about that is increasingly people realize that. As for oil prices, Landgraf says we're seeing an expected dip in prices and hopes prices will start to increase slowly. We don't freak out in the Permian Basin because people here have seen so many cycles and in very recent years have seen prices go very low. And we remember $100 a barrel too. It's very tough to predict. Whatever comes, the oil and gas industry will weather it and go back to work. Reporting in Odessa, Roxana Rubio, News West 9. Local lawmakers say they don't expect the oil and gas industry to be impacted by any topics at the special session, but they say they are ready to play defense for the industry if needed.